This is the AC Infinity T6 model. So this 10 speeds. And right now I have it on seven. It's very smooth, there's very little vibration. Audibly, it's super quiet. So right now it's on three. Very low, I'll put it on one just to. So, that's the lowest setting on one. Again, it's very quiet. So it is on the highest setting. It is slightly louder. And uh, it comes with a, it looks like a 20 foot uh, cable that goes right to your controller. And um, it comes with this temperature probe as well. I can go ahead and plug this in. Um, again, not, not really gonna be using this. So the temperature probe is plugged in and immediately it gives me, it's getting to the room temperature and it gives you the percentage of humidity. And you know, if you were to use this in um, its intended purpose, um, these are actually, believe it or not, these are very popular among uh, growers and uh, they have grow rooms and um, they utilize all the features and technology that this controller box offers. All right, so what I ended up doing was I removed the existing fan because it was actually obstructing the airflow. And this is the actual fan that was in there. So this is a rotary fan, let's see, 38 watts, uh, 0.22 amps. So, I mean, it was sucking, but not nearly to what, what it needs to be. So I have other plans for this. Hold on. I have it all connected. It's very low profile. And it's very quiet. So, you can probably hear the lawnmower in the background. My neighbor's cutting his grass. So, let me just turn it all the way up to 10. And once you get the pipe connected, it gets that much quieter. It's a low hum, even on 10. It's a very low hum. Not sure if the camera is picking that up. So we're gonna give a we're gonna do a few test cuts. So I ran a few test cuts and I am very pleased. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture it on video. But I'm not sure how much of that would translate through a video anyway. The uh, pros to this unit, um, basically a three, you know, low profile, low noise, and low vibration. And it, uh, it seemed to be, it seemed to work very well. So I mounted the control unit right here so I have ease of access. And this is a T6 model, like I said. What I would recommend if you were to go this route would get the S6, which is the same motor, different speed control. Um, but it still has 10 settings. Um, it just has a rotary dial for a speed control. This one basically has like an intelligent mode. You can set the um, configuration based on room temperature and humidity and all that, and it does everything automatically. But I don't need those features. Like I said, I got this unit because the, uh, the S6 was out of stock and I was impatient, so I got this one. Um, they do have an S8 and T8, which is the next size up. Um, it is an 8-inch diameter hose with a stronger motor, 
um, with the same features, you know, if you want to go with the intelligent controller. Um, but I'm not sure if that's overkill for this size bed. There is a whole calculation, I believe, to figure out the CFMs based on the size of your machine and the cutting bed and the, uh, the size of your enclosure. But uh, so don't don't take my word for it. Do, do your homework. But I just happened to get this one because it was based on recommendations from other um, people that have similar units. And I, like I said, I am very pleased. So uh, only time will tell. So hit that like button and please subscribe and uh, watch out for future content. Thanks.